All right, part three of our volume of composite solid series. <clears throat> In the first two parts of this series of five, we looked at two examples of composite solids. Again, composite, composite solids are basically combinations of solids, right? In this case, we have a square pyramid on top of a rectangular prism. And what we're going to try to do is find the total volume of the entire thing. So in other words, if we were to fill this whole thing up with sand or water or something like that, including the pyramid on top, all right, the question that we're looking to answer is what is the total volume of the entire thing? And to do that, of course, we're just going to look at volume of the pyramid plus volume of the prism. We're just going to find the two subvolumes and add them together. That is our strategy. So here we go. Let's go uh, volume of the pyramid on top first. Volume of the pyramid is, uh, let's see, pyramid volume is one third times the area of the base times the height. Capital B in these formulas means the area of the base. Now this happens to be a square pyramid, which means there is a square on the bottom of it. In other words, if we were to take our highlighter and look at the very bottom of our pyramid, this is a square. All right, that down there is a square. All right, so here's what we want to do. We want to say one third times the area of a square times the height of the pyramid. One third times 15 squared times eight. One third times 225 times eight. And that'll leave us with, oops, that'll leave us with, let's see. Uh, let's see, one third times 225 times 8. is 600. All right, that's easy enough. So we have 600 cubic inches for the pyramid. All right, the shape on the bottom, which of course is a rectangular prism, that is this shape down here. All right, it's this whole thing. So we're trying to find the volume of this rectangular prism. This is kind of like the base of the pyramid. This is what the pyramid is sitting on top of. So let's go and find this. We have volume of the prism is about as easy as it gets. Length times width times height. So it's 15 times 15 times 10, which is 225 times 10, which is 2,250 cubic inches, and we're going to add those two together. The total volume is the sum of these two, so that's 2850. And that would be how much volume there is in the entire, in the entire composite solid. All right, moving on. Oh, there was a little, little breakdown of that. I forgot I had that on there. So as you can see here, it's they break it down really nicely for us. Let me move that up a little bit so we can see it. You can see really easily now that the uh, the square pyramid sits on top of. Let me zoom out. Sits on top of the prism, the square prism. All right, they're calling it a square prism because it's the, the bottom is a square. All right, but we know that all squares are rectangles as well. So there's a nice breakdown for you, how they actually break it up into the sub-volumes. All right, cool. Number two. Number two, we have a pyramid on top of a pyramid that's kind of upside down. So we'll call the top one volume of the top, 
which is one third. This is a square based pyramid. I know that because this is two and this is two. That's given to us. So that means that this whole piece in between the two pyramids is a square. That's a square. All right, so here we go. One third times two squared times the height, which is 1.75. And we're going to add that to the volume of the bottom one. Volume of the bottom one should be the same. One third times two squared times 1.75. So you can add these two together, or you can just take one of them and multiply it by two. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go to our calculator. Uh, let's see. One third times four times 1.75 times two. Get 4.6 repeating. So the volume total is 4.667 cubic feet. That's how much stuff you can fit inside both pyramids. That concludes part three.